yes now come to this inner product space here we have a vector space vf where f is either the field of real numbers or the field of complex numbers then an inner product on v is, is a mapping from v cross v into f which assigns to each ordered pair alpha beta in v a scalar alpha beta in such a way that see here alpha comma beta is equal to beta comma alpha bar where beta alpha bar is your conjugate complex of the number beta alpha see here i have also written it in mapping form this alpha comma beta is a mapping uh, from v cross v to f so this is an inner product it's a mapping from v cross v into f see here uh, this is your first condition now we come to our second condition that a alpha plus b beta comma gamma is equal to a into alpha gamma plus b into beta gamma now the third condition is alpha comma alpha is greater than or equal to zero and alpha alpha is zero implies that alpha is your zero vector for any three vectors alpha beta gamma in v and any two scalars a v in f if alpha beta satisfies the three properties then the vector space v is said to be an inner product space and the inner product is what inner product is defined by the three given conditions see here this alpha comma beta it does not denote the ordered pair of the vectors alpha comma beta it is not the ordered pair actually it is a method to write inner product of alpha and beta but it denotes the inner product of the vectors alpha and beta it is an element of v which has been assigned by the function to the vectors alpha and beta see in some books we, you will find that inner product is written as alpha and a vertical line beta within a small bracket see if f is equal to r means our field is the field of real numbers then alpha comma beta is a real number and if f is equal to c is a complex number then alpha beta is a complex numbers this i have studied earlier uh, talked to you earlier if f is your field of real numbers then the complex conjugate in one is superfluous no need to consider the complex conjugate because f is a field of real numbers and therefore this alpha beta will be simply beta alpha because no need to write here bar because this uh, field f is the field of real numbers but if f is the field of complex numbers then alpha comma alpha will be alpha alpha bar and therefore the alpha alpha bar is real thus alpha alpha is always real whether f is equal to r or f is equal to c next if vf is an inner product space then it is called a euclidean space if f is the field of real numbers and we call it a unitary space if f is the field of complex numbers see euclidean space when f is real and complex uh, unitary space when f is complex numbers see the property 3 in the definition of inner product is called non negativity means alpha beta is see here uh, property 3 alpha alpha is greater than or equal to 0 this is called our non negativity property this property is called linear the property 2 is called linearity property see what is the linearity property a alpha plus b beta comma gamma is equal to a alpha gamma plus b beta gamma see it, it is our linearity property and uh, if f is equal to r means field of real field is equal to real of the uh, set of real numbers then the property one is called symmetry Pro, uh, means alpha beta is your beta alpha and if f is equal to c then it is called conjugate symmetry why because alpha beta is beta alpha bar see here note two if in an inner product space we have the vector alpha is zero zero vector then alpha alpha will be zero this zero is real but but this zero vector is your the belonging to f B. So it is your vector, but this is your real. We have vector zero comma zero is equal to zero into vector zero comma zero. So it will be zero into zero zero vector. It means it is zero. It is clear. See here, we have a very good example. This example has been asked several times in several universities, including your university also. See example one on V and C. This C is our set of complex numbers. There is an inner product. which we call the standard inner product so if alpha is your a1 a2 upon an means uh, it, it contains n elements 
and beta is beyond beta so on bn it also contains n elements and both belong to v and c element of vn is written as in this form b1 b2 so on bn then we define alpha comma beta means inner product of alpha and beta is defined as a1 b1 bar plus a2 b2 bar plus 1 plus an bn bar or in short it is written as summation i is varying from 1 to an ai bi bar now you will see that this is an inner product space go further let us see that all the postulates of an inner product hold in one see first conjugate symmetry from the definition of product given in one we have beta alpha will be written as b1 a1 bar plus 1 plus b n a n bar as per the definition so take the conjugate of this beta alpha so beta alpha bar will be b1 a1 bar plus b2 a2 bar plus 1 plus b n a n bar bar on whole this one so it is equal to bar on b1 a1 bar plus 1 plus bar on b n a n bar so this is equal to b1 bar and bar on a1 bar plus 1 plus b n bar and bar on a n bar see here you know that z1 z2 bar on z1 z2 is equal to z1 bar into z2 bar so that property is used here of complex numbers so it is equal to b1 bar a1 plus 1 plus b n bar a n why because two bar means the same number it means a1 a1 bar a1 bar bar is equal to a1 if you apply two times bar on a1 so it will be a1 so it can be written as a1 b1 bar plus 1 plus a n b n bar it means it is alpha comma beta so beta alpha bar is your alpha comma beta so conjugate symmetry property is fulfilled next linearity property suppose gamma is is equal to c1 c2 so on cn and it is in b and c and let ab belongs to c uh, complex number then we have a alpha plus b beta can be written as a into a1 into so on an plus b into b1 b2 so on bn it can be written as a1 plus b1 comma so on an plus b bn now take the inner product of this with gamma so it is a alpha plus b beta comma gamma is equal to a1 plus b1 c1 bar plus 1 plus an plus b bn c n bar as per the definition uh, defined here for inner product so it can be written as a a1 c1 bar plus 1 plus an cn bar plus b b1 c1 bar plus 1 plus b bn cn bar take here a common so it will be a into a1 c1 bar plus 1 plus an cn bar plus b into b1 c1 bar plus 1 plus bn cn bar so it is equal to a into alpha gamma comma gamma plus b into beta comma gamma so linearity property is also satisfied next non negativity see alpha comma alpha can be written as a1 a1 bar plus 1 plus an an bar it means mod a1 square plus 1 plus mod an square this is your greater than or equal to 0 now ai is a complex number therefore mod ai whole square is greater than equal to 0 thus 2 will be greater than equal to 0 it is a sum of n non negative real numbers and therefore it is greater than or equal to 0 so non negativity is also satisfied next alpha alpha is equal to 0 it will imply that mod a1 square plus 1 plus mod an square is equal to 0 it implies that each mod ai square is will be 0 it means each ai is equal to 0 since each ai is 0 therefore your alpha will be a zero vector hence the product defined in one is an inner product on vnc and with respect to this inner product vnc will be an inner product space so this problem is uh, our this problem is proved this problem is very important you must remember and practice this in your notebook see here if alpha beta are two vectors in vnc then the standard inner product of alpha and beta it is also called the dot product of alpha and beta and it is noted by alpha dot beta see if alpha is a1 into so on an and beta is b1 b2 so on bn then alpha dot beta will be a1 b1 bar plus a2 b2 bar plus 1 plus an bn bar uh, remember this on your uh, your next class we will go to this example on vnr there is an inner product which we call the standard inner product earlier this was c but now it is r so when uh, in your first example the field is set of complex numbers but in your second example the field is set of real numbers this inner product is defined as this alpha beta is equal to a1 b1 plus 1 plus n bn where alpha is a1 into so on an beta is b1 b2 so on bn and both belong to bnr you need to show that uh, this is defines uh, or your inner product on space on this r so we will do it in your next class
till then you just note down all of them and if you have any query ask me your question